What's going on guys? This is Brian from Advancement Hockey Advising here and today we'll be talking about how to know if a coach is actually interested in you. We basically made this video here because we get the question from players and parents all the time, is the coach actually interested in me, right? Oh, I, I talked to this coach at this showcase. Does that mean they want to sign me? You know, I sent the coach an email and they responded. What does that mean? You know, and, and this is actually a really valid question because coaches will respond to you and be nice to you, but it doesn't mean that they're actually interested in you, that they want to sign you, right? There's a big, big difference between the two. The goal of this video here is to kind of give you those you know key points key signs to look out for that coaches do that kind of tell you you know it allows you to gauge their level of interest in you and from there you'll be able to make the best decisions moving forward before we dive into the video here just a quick reminder as always to absolutely destroy that like button and if you're new here consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video moving forward all right so let's dive right into the key signs here so key sign number one is clarity right if a coach really wants you they will absolutely just tell you you know most coaches are like this they're very straightforward they will tell you if they want to sign you they'll say things like hey i really see you as a top six forward on my team next year i want to sign you or they'll just say i want to sign you um, i want to have you on my team i really think you're going to make a big impact in our program what will it take for you to come over here all these kinds of things right how soon can you get over here when they say things like this, right, when they're very clear on where they see you in the lineup, at this point, I would say, you know, it means they want to sign you, right? They're, they're very clear on it. On the other hand here, they can be vague, right? And when they're vague like this saying, ah, uh, like, um, you know, yeah, come to camp, something like that. Uh, yeah, potentially you could you could fit in my, in my roster or we have a really tough lineup. You'll have to battle for your spot, blah, blah, blah. You know, if they say things like this, it's not always a negative thing, but if they're not clear, if they're not giving you that concise answer yes or no and they're keeping things kind of vague typically that's a sign of lower interest now there's different levels of that right you kind of got to learn to read between the lines as you have experience moving forward typically that's what an advisor is going to do for you they'll be able to gauge that level of interest but overall though you know if they're very clear that means you know they're more on the interested side if they're more vague typically that means they're a little bit less interested all right so key sign number two here is response time if a coach really wants you they're going to respond to you very quickly usually within 24 to 48 hours right if not earlier usually it'll be between like a few hours if they really really want you on their team that makes sense right because what when you really want something, you want to get it done right away, right? With anything in life. So if a coach really wants this particular player, they're not going to hold off and call them in a week and all that kind of stuff. They're not going to be independent. They're going to call that player right back, say, yes, they, we, I want him on my team. How soon can he get here? Whereas on the other side, you know, if a coach, you know, doesn't, isn't really that interested, whatever, you know, you're not at the top of their priority list, so to speak, because they are busy. Um, they're probably going to put it off a little bit, you know, usually you won't get that that same response time. Now, this isn't always the case. Sometimes coaches will respond right away and say no. Some of them respond very quickly and, and say this. But most of the time, if they're responding to you, like, let's say a week away or a couple weeks away or even worse, don't respond to you at all. That usually gives you a good telltale sign that they're not that interested. One exception I want to point out here is that um, college coaches, particularly NCAA D1 coaches, they are quite busy they get a ton of emails every single day you know so if you email them don't read too much in between the lines if they don't respond to you right away sometimes it takes a week couple weeks for them to respond and that's completely normal if they're really interested even then usually they'll respond a little bit quicker but for them give them a little bit more leeway because they are quite busy so that's just one thing to keep in mind but overall usually a coach the higher their level of interest the quicker their response time key sign number three here is who reaches out first if the coach is constantly reaching out to you, asking what your plans are for next season, and every week you seem to be getting a text, a call, an email from them, anything like that, any way that they're trying to convince you or something like that, that's a really good sign. That means they typically want you on their team, right? Almost all the time, if they're consistently reaching out to you, chances are that they want you on their team. A minor part of this could be if they want money from you for whatever reason to sign up to camps and all that kind of stuff. But if they're reaching out to you, asking what your plans are, if if you're considering them in the equation, all that kind of stuff, it means they really want you on their team. So that's a really good sign. On the flip side of this, if you're the one who's consistently reaching out, you're not really hearing anything back most of the time when they do uh, message back to you, they, it's a really short answer. They don't really seem to 
to really be engaged, all that kind of stuff, right? In that case, I would say the level of interest is quite low. So on that spectrum, you know, if they uh, initiate it first, most of the time, usually interest is quite high. If they're kind of standoffish, not really um, initiating the, the replies back, you're the, the one who's constantly reaching out first, then the interest is probably on the lower side. All right, and number four here on our list, which is our last key sign here, is the amount of time that a coach invests into you. If a coach on, on one side invests a ton of time in you, he, he replies or he or she replies, you know, to your your uh, emails, um, your phone calls, if they, they call you back and they actually spend the time to have conversations with you and potentially your parents too, you know, as an initial conversation, if they come and watch you play, all that kind of stuff, if they're actually investing their time and energy and resources into you, into watching you play, into seeing how you develop, see if you're a potential candidate, that's a very, very good sign, you know, that they're, they're busy, right? Especially at college coaches are extremely busy. So if they're investing your, their time in you, it means they're actually interested. On the flip side here if they can't be bothered really to, to reply back or to, to get on a phone call if it seems impossible to get on a phone call with them you know if they if they don't really want to come see you play not even on hockey TV all that stuff if they simply just refer you out to a form this is another big point here if they just give you a form to fill out uh, to sign up for a camp or if they just um, to, to get on their it's like a recruitment form for the college coaches if they just do that and they can't be even bothered to get on a phone call with you typically that's a lower sign of interest, okay? So that that's a really, really big way to know is the time they invest in you, all right? Do they invest a lot of time or do they not really want to invest any time in you? So that's a really big indicator if they're interested in you or not. I just want to leave with one final note here and that is that these guidelines are extremely general. So it's, it's a way basically for you to kind of read between the lines with coaches and their level of interest, but by no means are these like guidelines here absolute. They're guidelines, they're not hard, rules so it, it's just a good way to kind of follow along to say okay is he interested are they not interested all this kind of stuff it doesn't mean that they are or they aren't it just gives you a good idea okay this is a really good skill to have moving forward because it allows you to not waste time or money going to to coaches uh, camps or whatever that aren't that interested but at the same time you know still keep an open mind just because a coach takes a little bit longer to reply to you or something like that doesn't mean they're not interested so don't completely discount coaches just kind of know where to prioritize your time and all that kind of stuff so that's just the one final comment i wanted to make on this all right so let's just do a quick recap of the main points that we covered in this video here so first let's just start with the key signs to look out for to gauge a coach's level of interest so number one is their clarity with you number two is the response time number three is who reaches out first them or you and then number four is the time that they actually invest in you and just last quick thing here remember that these are not hard rules they're just good guidelines that you can use to infer all right guys that is it for the video if you had any questions pop up or anything that you wanted to talk to us about personally feel free to comment down below or if you want to message us privately send us an email at info at ahadvising.com and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And again, if you're new here and you got any kind of value out of this video, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video moving forward. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you on that next one.